Hello and welcome back. This is round four. Uh, we're going to be on the play, so yep. Let's see what we draw. Okay, it's a perfectly fine hand. We're going to keep it. And let's see what our opponent does. Okay, we're going to lead off with an island here. No special reasoning. I just want a white blue or a blue for Augur Bolas turn two. Most likely, we're going to just play the Augur Bolas. Especially since he starts with a black green land and uh, uses it for an arbor. I'm not too familiar with standard right now, but I think the choice here is going to have to be uh, the detention sphere. It's better against planeswalkers. Oh, I can't take the time to sphere. <laughs> I apologize. Again, this is my first time picking up the stack. This is my, like, my fourth game with it. Uh, fourth match with it, I should say. But the reason why I wanted to take the Tension Sphere, if that was available, was that there's Planeswalkers and there's uh, Predator Ooze in the green-black decks, I believe. And uh, those things are unaffected by the Supreme Verdict and are affected by... Uh, uh, the, the detention sphere so that's the reason why i wanted to uh see if i could get the detention sphere although that would require me cheating and uh this is good news i guess uh, our opponent seems to not have a second land oh no <laughs> it was just arbor elf tricks so let's see what he's going to do for three mana here hopefully it's just a jerk mangler nope it's a predator ooze yay it's so oozy okay uh well we do have the zurius charm to put it back on top but i want to wait until uh we have a black source so that we could azurius charm and then uh and then mill it away i believe we're just going to block the first attack with it because it's whenever it's dealt damage it gets plus one plus one so if we block it it's going to get additional plus one so that means we can't block it next turn Ooh, Rancorn, that. That's interesting. I would have put that on the Predator rules. Huh. That's very interesting. Uh... Okay, since he made this play, I think our choice is now clear. We're going to block here, trade. Uh, we're going to Zurius Charm that on top, and then we're going to dissipate it next turn. I'm, I'm surprised he made that play. Uh, I lost track of my first original thought, but the thinking, thinking is this. If you block here, he gets an additional plus one, plus one counter, but you save two damage. So you have to ask yourself, if I'm going to make the block here... Oh, no. Ah, that's my train of thought. We took one additional damage from uh, the Predator Ooze for no reason. But, okay, so going back to my original train of thought, even though it cost us a point of damage. Ah, oh, Ranger Skyle. Okay, that's interesting. Was that if we chump block there with the uh, Augur Bolus on the Predator Ooze, we increase his power and toughness, but eventually you'll come out ahead. Uh, you'll come out ahead if... You'll come out ahead if you uh, if you could get rid of Predator Ooze in two turns. If not, then you're just uh, taking more damage. Because after turn two, it evens out. After turn three, uh, you start losing value because of the jump block you made there. Uh, the reason why we didn't do Lingering Souls here is that because he, we know he has a Rancor. And uh, we know he's mana screwed. And we really want him to uh, Rancor there so we could dissipate it away. Then our uh, Lingering Souls become Chump Blocks that become Fogs instead of just uh, uh, saving us one point of damage. Okay, we're going to take 5 here, go down to 13. We really want to draw a Black Source, if possible. A Jace, what does a Jace do? Jace plus 1, uh, this is 3... Four, Jace goes to one. Yeah, we're gonna Jace here. Hopefully he doesn't have a power augmenter or another strangler with guys. But even if he does have that, that's gonna save us five points of damage. 
And uh, we're at the position where life is going to become a huge factor. But if he doesn't have an Augmenter and he attacks Jace, it's going to mulch up four damage. Uh, we're going to be able to Jace plus one again next turn with some Lingering Souls to block. So I think playing the Jace was the right call there. And hopefully he doesn't have a Power and Toughness Augmenter or a Haste Creature uh, to get rid of our Jace. But even if he does, again, we're going to be saving life. And I hope that's good enough. Okay. It looks like Jace is going to go down. Jace down. Okay, so he missed land drops, so I'm assuming the last two cards in his hands are spells. That would have been nice if I had black. Lingering Souls here. I think the play is just to chump block the Strangle the Geist here. And then Supreme Verdict them away. Oh no, Predator lose. I think that's actually the wrong target for it this time. Uh, probably should have put on the Strangle Geists. That's interesting. Alright, we're gonna take the damage here, I think. Tracker. That's not very good. That's also not very good. Uh, yeah, we gotta we have to dig for a black source here. I don't know if that's gonna do us any good, but we need to dig for a black source. I think we're just dead. I think we're just dead here. I think the only chance we have to live is to uh, hope that our opponent misplays, but if he attacks with the Predator Ooze, fights one of our spirit tokens, he could just trample over and kill us. But hopefully our opponent misplays. Nope, he's not misplaying so far. That's an 8. Yep, yep, we're dead. That's 9. Yep, we're going to concede this game. We're dead. Okay, uh, okay, we're gonna take another John Yard out and put the Vault of the Archangels in. Uh, Terminus, you're in. Thick Rock's Faith Bender, a Living Ring, Feeling of Dread. And um, let's take out some of these dirty cards that don't do anything in this aggro matchup. Uh, is there another card here? That's I don't know if the Argo bonus does enough. I don't think it does. I'm gonna cut out the Argo bonuses. I want to put the rest in. I want to get rid of the Rancors because I could set up a play where I like Detention Sphere, O Ring, Supreme Verdict, something like that, and then get the Rancor out with the rest. I think that's going to be helpful. Yeah, I'm going to cut out the Dissipate to for dress. I think Dissipate's a little bit too slow, even though we're in the play. 
And I think the key card in this matchup is going to be the Rancor and the Planeswalkers. Uh, yes, we would like to play first. And this is an acceptable hand. I'm actually looking forward to watching these videos myself just to see if, if I made misplays here. Uh, more, more misplays than the ones that I caught myself, I should say. And just to see what I could have done differently. That Ranger Skyle and his uh, single, second Stranglewood guys were very key. Like, if he didn't have those two plays, I think we would have won this game. But uh, he did have it, and he deserves to win. Uh, sure. Let's see what he could menace us with in turn. We're a little flooded here, but uh, decks like this, we want to make our land drops, and uh, we're just going to rely on the top of our deck to uh, get us out of the situation. Trick Mag, okay. Just going to take the Dread Mangler damage here. Putting it on top doesn't really do us anything. And then we got the Tension Sphere of the way. Yes, please. Now let's hope we draw some business. Jace would be sweet. Since his revelation would also be sweet. A lot of cards that could help us. Let's hit it. Well, our man might be mana screwed again. Rancor? Oh, that's bad. So he has four business spells in his hand. We're going to be a 13 life. Business, please. Ultimate price. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Halothon tapped. By playing one of the untapped lands, we could have ultimate price and Azuri's charm open, but I don't think that matters too much. Although I could be wrong. Very wrong. Uh, sure. Whatever he takes, we'll just play the other one. Most likely he'll be taking the Azurius Charm, so we're going to be ultimate price that just comes back with him dying. And then he could, uh, Replay the Rancor. I actually think I want to take the damage here because I don't know if I'm going to be drawing action next turn. Lol of Troll, okay. That's a good one. So f potentially four business bills. That's not good. Uh, ultimate price. That's not good either. All right, we could just be dead here. If he has three creatures, we're dead. And I think he's saying he has three creatures here. So I guess ultimate pricing this last turn was correct play. I would save those four life. I don't know. Depends what our what our next draw is gonna be. I guess you want to bring in rest in peace against this guy too, because the rancor and the stranglewood guys both 
uh, go away. Uh, okay, uh, I think we're alive. Actually, with the Snapcaster deck, top deck. I think we have to bring in the rest in peace because the Strangle Rope guys are dying and the Rank will both disappear with that. We are hanging on by the skin of our teeth. <sighs> okay, let's plan this out. Uh... And there's not really much to plan out. Uh, got a Snapcast of each here. Get the Azurius Charm. Put the Lalaf Troll on top. Then we're going to ultimate price this wrangle with Geist. Craft one, I hope. We do lose to a Ranger Skyle or a Pump Spell, but I think if I had that, he would have used it already. Uh, going down to two. Well, let's see. If I block here, we stay at two life. Uh, Vault of the Archangel isn't going to keep us alive, right? Because he's going to be attacking with the Rancor on it. The Trample is going to be negated by the two life we gain, but we're going to die. So we're going to just block here. There's no benefit of keeping the Snapcaster around. If we top deck like a Wrath of God, we're going to just lose it, and this will prevent him from having three mana next turn, I hope. And uh, maybe we'll top deck something like a Sphinx's Revelation, or a Terminus, or something like that. Something good. Okay, and then a lot of troll. Uh... Definitely need something sweet here. That is not it. Uh, hmm. We're going to be looking for the Supreme Verdict over a Terminus in this situation because I think we're still running more Supreme Verdict copies than Terminuses. This doesn't keep us alive, does it? Uh, I don't know. Probably not, but only one way to find out. Maybe our opponent will make a mistake for us. Doesn't seem likely. Yeah, we're just dead here. Yep, nothing we could do. Okay, we lose. Oh, 
Okay, what's the lesson that we learned from this deck uh, from our four rounds of playing it? I feel like this deck is very soft to the MTGO metagame. I think it needs to be a little bit more tuned against aggro decks. Um, let's go to the deck editor here and pop it back up. Okay, seem, this deck seems to be very tuned against beating mid-range decks and beating the control mirror. It doesn't seem very well tuned to beating the mono red decks, the blue black aggro decks, and everything else. Uh, we're only running four sweepers. We have a, a more of a planeswalker sweep to uh, get out of it. I don't know how to improve this deck except maybe changing some of the pieces in the sideboard. Uh, seems like Vault of the Archangel it gets brought in a lot. But there's never a situation where the Vault of the Archangel is going to turn the game around for us. So I don't really like that card in the sideboard. Uh, the rest seem fine. But I don't know if they have enough impact against control for it to uh, justify its existence. The main problem with playing Esper instead of Vamp and everything else is that we lose our Thrive Tusk because the ability to gain life to uh, get out of situations like this. And... Uh, yeah. The cards that I felt like were underwhelming for me were Lingering Souls. The Forbidden Alchemy and the Think Twices were underwhelming. The Snapcaster Mage was underwhelming. The ultimate prices were okay, but they weren't they weren't anything special. So going forward, I think I'm gonna make some augmentation to this deck and see how it goes. But uh as of now I can't recommend playing Esper Control. In this current metagame, uh, there are too many soft matchups. The aggro decks really do seem to own you. Uh, you could only beat control decks, and there's you're less likely to encounter control decks on MTGO right now than the aggro decks. So I think we have to tune this deck to beat that. And uh, okay, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.